Hello dear family, I hope you are all well. I, I just thought I'd come on here and, and show my face to you and uh, remind you um, that I love you. Moreover, that Jesus Christ loves you more than I could ever love you. So that's what I wanted to remind you of um, and tell you that I'm not going to be doing as much videos because I want to focus mostly on however long we've got left on going onto the streets and preaching the gospel. As soon as uh, I've, I've ordered some Bible tracks and as soon as they come, then I'm going to be on the streets and uh, you'll, you'll have seen in one of my last videos, um, not the last one, uh, I think one before that, I think maybe, that I went onto the streets with a, a girl, uh, a sister in Christ called Andrea. And we're both going to go onto the streets and share the love of God with people and preach the gospel, the gospel of salvation. And if you haven't laid hold of your salvation or even know that you do need saving, well, God's holy word says in Romans 3.23 that we all have sinned. We've all broken God's commandments and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Um, so, so we've all fallen short and we've all, we've all broken God's commandments. Um, if anybody says they haven't, they're lying. Um, if anybody says that they have no sin, they are deceiving themselves and the truth is not in them. Um, so Jesus Christ came to the world, left his heavenly kingdom, put on the flesh of a normal human being, a normal man, and went to the cross to die for our sins, to pay the penalty for our sins in full on the cross. Because it is written, there is no forgiveness of sins. There's no remission of sins without the shedding of blood. So Jesus Christ was crucified for all our sins, and it means past, present and future sins. He was buried, and on the third day, he rose again from the dead. You believe that truly in your heart, and call upon the name of Jesus, or confess his name, you will be saved with everlasting life. You'll be baptised in Holy Spirit. And you'll be sealed with Holy Spirit and sanctified for the day of redemption, which is upon us at any moment, when Jesus Christ himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, they'll be resurrected, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So that day is upon us. It could be at any moment. Nothing more needs to happen for this rapture event, Harpazzo, um, to take place. Nothing more needs to happen. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. Um, so we, we watch. We are commanded to watch. Watch. Um, and then there is a blessing for those who, when the Lord comes, he will find watching. So I, I just wanted to uh, remind you how, what the main commandment, first of all, if you haven't laid hold of salvation, it doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter what, what evil things you've done, all can be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. So there. So if you're thinking you're too unworthy, and that God God will never love me, I can tell you that He does love you, and He does want to save you. All can be saved, no matter who they are and what they have done. So there you are. All it takes is to believe on Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, that He paid the debt in full for all your sins, and boom, you are saved with everlasting life, and um, you become. You become adopted into the family of God and uh, you become one of Jesus' sheep. And Jesus says in John 10, 27, 
My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So you can't even pluck yourself out of his hand, which is very, very comforting to know. Um, so don't be afraid that you can lose your salvation. Once you are saved, that's it. It's a done deal. You can't even take yourself out of his hand. And I know this because I got saved in, I think it was 19, 1992. And um, I remained with the church where I got saved for, for a matter of weeks. And then I went straight back to my old lifestyle. I was running away from God, basically. Running away from what he was calling me to do, I think. And I got involved with uh, drugs, alcohol. I, was, I lived homeless. I did all sorts of uh, terrible things, really. Um, but this just goes to show you, once you are saved, you cannot take yourself. I couldn't take myself out of his hand. I'm still saved. I'm here today. Um, he's brought me through so much, um, so much crazy stuff. I've, I've OD'd on drugs. Um, I think, I think two or three times, I've taken overdoses of uh, methadone uh, pills. I've woken up in hospitals on um, in London on a, a life support machine. Um, this just shows you the power of God that you you belong to Him. Once you, I belong to Him, so He saved me, delivered me from every evil work, and He will preserve me and you unto mm -hmm. His heavenly kingdom. So um, I just wanted to remind you the main commandment, the number one commandment, is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. And with all thy strength. And the second commandment, which is like the first, is that you should love your neighbour as yourself. There is none other commandment greater than these. And if you keep that royal command kept in scripture and you love your neighbour as yourself, you do well. So I urge you all, dear brothers and sisters, to continue to love one another. Um, Scripture says uh, that, see I'm never prepared, <laughs> Scripture says in um, Peter um, that your love should cover over a multitude of sins. Oh, it's, in, it's in 1 Peter ch chapter 4 verse 8. The word love in the King James, um, it says charity, but if you look at the Greek word for charity, it does mean love. So, verse 8 in chapter 4. And above all these things, have fervent love among yourselves. For love shall cover the multitude of sins. So, um, we need to love one another more. But just remember that all the unsaved and the, 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 the non-believers, they're looking at us they're looking at christians and unfortunately they are seeing many christians online um arguing and picking out each other's faults and uh things like this and this should not be this should not be not at all um so i just wanted to remind you that uh Jesus said it, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another. As I have loved you, that ye also love one another. So it couldn't get any simpler. We are saved. The moment we believe, we're saved by God's grace through our faith in Jesus. And that not of ourselves, it's the gift of God, which God wants to give everyone who will receive it. Um, and it's not by works. You you can't say, um, well, I, I'm a good person. Without Jesus, you won't make it because He said, "I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved." Um, I'm not making this long. Um, like I say, I'm not going to be doing as much videos. I don't think so, unless the Lord 
you know, ch changes my mind and says uh, um, to do it. But here's one. I was talking with a sister about this, uh, a couple of sisters actually, about this one proverb. Um, and it's in Proverbs 17, verse 9. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth a matter separateth very friends. So please, please don't be so quick to um, point out people's faults. We've all got them. You'll find faults in me because I'm not perfect and I've never claimed to be. But now God the Father sees us all through his son Jesus Christ. He sees us as the finished 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 product. Um, I'll just read you a couple of uh, uh, proverbs which I, I have un underlined which uh, which are really good. Um, he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. But he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. Jesus said, by your words ye shall be justified, and by your words ye shall be condemned. So be careful, be careful. Just because you have a thought in your heart, don't always bring it to the mouth. Um, be, be slow to speak, quick to hear, slow to judge. Um, and if, if you're looking to find faults in people, you'll find them. But try, try to bring out the good in people. Try to find the good in people. Um, tr try to bring out the good in people. And, and don't, uh, you know, don't pick faults with people and, and stuff because all it does is cause discord. And um, talk, talking of discord, I'll just tell you this. Um, in Proverbs chapter 6, uh, verse 16, these six things does the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaks lies, and he that sows discord among brethren. He that sows division among brethren. So I didn't want to do, take up all your time. I just wanted to encourage you to stay watching. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It might be tonight. So we'd stay watching. Um, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. And he addeth no sorrow with it. That's Proverbs 10, 22. But in the original scriptures, there was there was no um, chapters and verses. So just because you can't remember, you can't remember what chapter or verse it is, it doesn't mean you shouldn't quote um, the, the verse. You know, just because you can't remember, you still quote it because you know you've read it. You know it's in your heart. So you say it anyway. It doesn't matter if you can't remember whereabouts it is. Just just speak the word of God. Um, you can all, if you've got a smartphone, you must have a computer somewhat to be watching this. You can you can just type it in and it'll just it'll just tell you where where to find it. So I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna come off now, but please keep me and Andrea in your prayers because as soon as these gospel tracks arrive. I wish they would arrive soon because I, I feel this pressing urgency. Whew, for for some time now, I felt this uh, like the Lord could come at any moment. Every day, I think Whoosh, it could be this day. That's how urgent the feeling is inside me. So, if you haven't laid hold of salvation, please do so. God wants to save you, but He's given you free will. Please choose wisely. Choose Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father 
and of the holy angels. So don't be ashamed. Um, Jesus said also, unless you become like little children and be converted, you will never enter the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. So becoming like a little child is, you, you think about children, young children, like a five-year-old, six-year-old, whatever you tell them, they believe. You tell them that the tooth fairy, I mean, don't tell them that, but, but if you tell them the tooth fairy is going to come, uh, if they leave their tooth under the pillow, they believe it. So that's what Jesus is saying. And also become as little children. Children are basically innocent, very little children. So we must become innocent by believing on him because then all our sin is cancelled out. Please don't judge me. If I say something wrong, don't remember what I said and don't be quick to judge and be, be slow to speak, quick to forgive. I'm, I'm preaching to myself as well because I need to do this too. Um, I'm just thinking of one, one more thing. Well, it doesn't matter. I just want to pray for you all. Um, please keep keep me and Andrea in your prayers because we are. If we have the time, we might not have the time, but if we have the time, we're going to go onto the streets and preach. And, and um, each time I've gone onto the streets and preached, I've looked back at it and I, I thought, mm, I could have done that better, and mm, I shouldn't have done that. And I'm learning. I'm learning all the time. When you stay humble and teachable you learn more but when we when we become proud and we think that we know it all um that's when we, we won't learn we won't learn more um, a man's pride shall bring him low but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit so dear father may this be a blessing to all the people watching my brothers and sisters and anybody who's not laid hold of salvation i pray they will do so and not leave it hesitate any longer dear father just guide me in this prayer bless everybody with your rich blessing that adding no sorrow to it um, dear father keep them in that blessing for the rest of this day and keep them in your perfect love perfect love casts out all fears and god has not given us a spirit of fear but one of power one of love and one of a sound mind um, make your face shine upon them. Jesus Christ, the light of the world, shine upon them. And be gracious unto them, Lord. Lift up your, the light and beauty of your countenance upon everyone watching and give them peace. And confirm to everyone watching that you are about to descend from heaven and gather together all born-again believers and take them up. So encourage them, Father, and confirm to them also that we should watch and be at peace and not let your heart be troubled. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Jesus Christ. So I'll leave you. God bless you all. Um, just keep that commandment to love one another and bring out the good in people. Okay, I love you. Bye. Do you like my new haircut? <laughs> I'm very happy with it. It was doing my head in. Because all the, all the um, barbers, hairdressers are shut here. So um, a friend of mine, she just got some clippers and, and did the whole lot. So, <laughs> so it made me made my day. Well, last I, I've had it cut for about three days now. And it's, oh, what a relief. What a relief. <laughs> anyway, God bless you. Bye-bye.